Well, hello again, and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, cardboard crawlers all over the world. I truly hope you're having a wonderful day and doing well. I just can't resist this little Toyota FJ45. She's a runner. The rocks like her. She likes the rocks. What more do you want? So we're out here again this afternoon in the sunshine. Uh, did a little Windex clean on the rig. Just sprayed some Windex on a clean dish towel, like a lint-free towel, and then wiped all the painted parts on the body down. I usually do. I try to do a pretty good job when I bring my trucks inside. I I kind of like dust them off. I have a little um, dollar store paintbrush that I keep on my desk, and when I before I set a truck down on the desk, I, I dust it off. If it's real dirty, I set it in the sink for a minute and not rinse it off, but I just set it in there and kind of like dust it off with the uh, with the brush over the sink and don't get any dirt on the table. But yeah, so I just, you know, keep them a little bit clean. I, I, like I said, I dust the axles and the chassis and the electronics off with the brush every once in a while, do the inside of the body and then before I came out today, I did a little Windex on a towel and wiped it down. Made it look pretty. I've been thinking about it, putting a, one of the Maz stickers on it. Um, it's not a lot of really good spots. I, I might have one that'll fit right under the rear window on that back panel. Uh, I could put matching ones on the doors but i didn't really want to go that far um so yeah you tell me you know i just i'm not going crazy with the stickers on this one i have stickers i have some rigs that are stickered out my c10 is definitely like sponsored up looks like a race truck you know um but i thought one maz sticker maybe on the like the B pillar right behind the driver there might do one there or on the back flat deck. Um, yeah, so anyway, love those micro stickers. They're super fun, you know, they just make it, make it kind of fun and realistic and just got some Maz parts in the mail and a new sticker sheet came with them. So always love that. Thanks Joey for the stickers and the awesome parts as always um but yeah just uh like i said out cruising can't resist the new line at the course that's where i'm driving to right now and the fj45 she gets her done like i love it and uh so working like a rib bone coming around the corner coming into the new section right here the dog is off in the distance somewhere doing his thing, and we're doing our thing. And new line right there, it, that's what that all is, that whole section. Uh, like I said, trying to add some transition and different different kind of feeling to it all. So, yeah, hopefully, hopefully it's all coming through on camera and in the video, I, you know... Once again, I mean, I say it all the time. Get out there. Build one of these trucks. Go have fun. It only takes a couple of rocks. You don't have to get crazy like I did. There's there's rocks all over the place. Like, you can you go out to dinner and there's rocks in the parking lot, you know? So, anyway. Uh, and if you like this content, you know, please subscribe, like, share, tell a friend, show it to a friend. You know, you don't have to watch the whole videos. A lot of people say that it's just kind of soothing background droning on monotone or drone. <laughs> so, anyway, yeah, like I said, oh, man, look at her. Look at her getting it. Get, get, get. And uh, looking good. You know, I mean, you guys know the parts list on this already. Maz, 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 NSDRC. Enjora, Enjora, WT Micro, Bang Bang, <laughs> Fury Deck. Um, so yeah, Micro Komodo, I did just notice a little bit of brass, uh, 
Um, I would call them like filings um, on the deck of my transmission coming from the uh, like spur gear area pinion. This has a brass pinion in it, so I'll probably need to get a steel pinion in this and maybe possibly uh, redo the lash there. Might be a little bit off, might have got banged around. Anyhow, um, Blue Dog, oh yeah, he came back towards the end of the game. He comes back to hang out. So, he's there at the grass to meet us today. Always nice to have your buddy hanging out while you're out on the trail. Making sure everything's safe and secure. This is a little waterfall. It had a bunch of sand in it, so I finally, like, used the blower, like, very specifically in this spot and got these rocks re-uncovered. They're fun. It's a nice slope and it's like a staircase. Doop, doop, doop. We'll call it the waterfall. And up and over. And then we're only about three feet from the grass. Boom, boom. And then I decided instead of just turning left, which would lead me right to, there's just a little shoot to the grass. I said, oh, this is a fun little hard section. And this will look nice on film. What? Looks great. I think. I mean, you guys tell me. Do you think this shot is sweet? Do you like this kind of perspective? Is it fun to watch this? Let me know in the comments below. Say we love the show or we don't love the show anyhow we're getting to the end here oh fj45 i don't know what we call her uh, fj she creeping onto the grass that means it's all over but the crying and i uh, go over and check in with the boss you know see how he's doing and uh, like always Appreciate you. Take it easy. Cardboard crawlers. Out.